Welcome to this presentation on basic trigonometry. Um, so let's get started. Uh, trigonometry is very simple. For basic trigonometry, you need to learn this. Let me write it down. S O H C A H T O A. Okay. Now, if you don't know what these means, uh, what this means, I'll explain it to you right now. Uh, okay, S will stand for sine, so sine equals, this will mean the opposite, whoops, opposite, uh, the H means hypotenuse, hypotenuse, and uh, C stands for cosine, and uh, that's adjacent. Okay, and the H is for hypotenuse, this is for opposite uh, adjacent. So, just need to learn O is opposite, O for opposite, H for hypotenuse, A for adjacent. And you really want to remember this, uh, socato. Um, just remember it the best way you can. I just like saying socato, and it, it just comes out, and you can tell you know they all need to be different and uh, so you just need to memorize this for trigonometry and you should be absolutely fine anyway uh, why you need to learn this uh, I'll show you right now so let, let's get a basic triangle here uh, it's not thick enough a basic triangle and there okay let's say we have an angle here uh, I'm gonna make this up 54 degrees and we have an unknown length here and we have the hypotenuse of 13 centimeters let's just take this as an example so if you were to get a question like this where they said to find out X these are the steps you would take okay uh, firstly, uh, what I would do is label your sides so they all start from the angle. So adjacent to the angle is X, so this is adjacent. Opposite is obviously going to be opposite of the angle, so this is the opposite. And the hypotenuse is always the largest length, so we label that H. Now we need to find out. Uh, what do we have and that's what we need to use so on the o opposite side we have no given number and we don't need to find the length of that side so we can immediately cross that out that leaves us with a and h and this is where we go back to the Socatoa and we look for the a and h so sine is opposite and hypotenuse but we've gotten rid of opposite and uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse uh, so we've got our adjacent here and our hypotenuse so it's cosine so we write cos of 54 degrees so equals adjacent over hypotenuse so we've got x over 13 <coughs> sorry um, so we just need to rearrange it to make x the formula so if we do x here we go, x equals uh, 13 times by cos 54 and on the calculator which I don't have on me at the moment uh, you'll get the answer and that would be your length so that's really bad here that I don't have my calculator but that would be your length okay okay sorry about that guys I'm back uh, I brought my calculator now so never mind this we got our answer and it's 7.6412 and depending on the question I made this up but if it said two decimal places you just get rid of that and remember to write your centimeters so that should be very simple step one is label your sides according to the angle straight away so as soon as you do that 
actually before step one this should be step one write down Sokatoa straight away this is step two labeling your sides step three would be uh, filling in the formula with the question so we filled it in so cos 54 equals x over 13 and here we just did our cross multiplication so x over 1 equals x and cos 54 times by 13 we did that here and on the calculator we get 7.64 it is really just that simple honestly and I want to move on to an exam question now so here's an exam question uh, as you can see they've said a B, C, they're giving us an angle 32 degrees and the hypotenuse which is 12 centimeters. Now that's all they've given us from the question and they simply told us to calculate the length. So cal calculate uh, the length of A, B. That's what we want to work out and that is three marks okay let's see if we can do this together so AB is this line here this line well this side so what was our first step we need to write down you can write a little so ka to uh, so that was step one step two is to label the sides so the opposite of the angle would be here and this is x by the way because we're calculating a b that's x that is the line a b so we're calculating this and that's the opposite adjacent to the angle is this one adjacent and the hypotenuse which is here so we've done step two now let's uh, eliminate the one we don't need we need this because it's the length we're trying to find they've given us this so we 100% need this and it's the adjacent which we don't need and they haven't provided so uh, we've got O and H so we look into our formula and we can clearly see it's so which is sine so we can write this in sine 32 degrees equals the opposite which is there X over the hypotenuse which is 12 and simply if you can't do this you need to just over 1 you could do that by that which is x equals that sine 32 degrees times by 12 centimeters and you would work that on the calculator which I'm going to for you sine 32 times by 12 equals 6.35903 so I just write that all out here, 903, and so that's the length of AB, and so we can write it here. And they've said two decimal places, so 6.36 centimeters is our final answer, and that is three marks. So let's just go over that. We wrote first we did the formula Sokatoa here to help us then the second step was to label the sides third step was just, just to fill it in fourth step was to rearrange the formula and the last step was to put it into the calculator and work it out and that was our answer and all of that one two three four I don't think you get the mark for that but that would be in your three marks oh sorry that, that is basically the answer so that is three marks and that is basic trigonometry literally um, so that's pretty much it for this video I'll make another video uh, maybe on trigonometry but it is really easy just post a comment whether you would like another video um, thank you very much for watching